Hey, Snow Track Super Tracks YouTubers, it's time for another end of season walk around. And uh, it's a sad time of year when you see the snow go and it's going fast now. But uh, hey, there's another season coming and it was a good one. And uh, this one here we're going to focus on is pretty special. It's a 900 Ace Turbo in a Renegade uh, XRS full jam. And uh, it's a pretty sweet looking sled. The style and the coloration, Skidoo does an awesome job with it. Here's the big news, 4,833 kilometers on this unit. That's uh, almost 5,000 kilometers, almost 3,000 miles. Uh, yes, we rode the wheels off it. And uh, we have a lot of impressions with it. We've had a lot of fun with this sled. And this sled, to me, is sort of, it's, it's a love-hate snowmobile in some ways. The motor is outstanding. The power, the top end power is amazing. The clutching, the P-drive, uh, the Boss secondary, all of the drive line is just outstanding, durable, uh, really shifts up nice, back shifts good, it's a strong runner. Um, what is the hate part? The throttle. We came away this year with just real frustration with the, uh, the electronic throttle control. Really the, the way you have to ride it is in eco mode, which we think is really redundant to have an eighteen or $19,000 Canadian snowmobile and drive it in eco mode because the throttle is too jerky. Um, there needs to be some work done on that, so that's the, that's the downside. The rest of the vehicle, our motion, what are you going to say? The industry standard continues to be. Polaris is now marketing a suspension that is that close, the Pro CC but uh, our motion continues to be the one you can set your watch by. This one is an XRS Deluxe version, has the external adjusters. They're useful for us because we have a lot of different riders using these vehicles on a day-to-day, week-to-week basis. Maybe not so useful, uh, maybe not worth the extra expense if you're early season ordering. On the other hand, if you want every gadget and every whiz-bang thing, you're gonna get them, and they are cool. The, the adjusters are cool, particularly the preload adjuster. Once you get the dampening set, you pretty much leave it, but the preload adjuster, it is it is the bomb. Okay, so handling. You know that we've had some issues and we've talked all season long on snow tracks and in super tracks about the tunable skis on the G4s. And this is what they call a G4 wide body. We're not going to get into that, but it's got the intercooler mounted up in the front and it's a wider body for the three-cylinder ace four-stroke turbo motor. This one here is sitting here with split rail skis on it because some of the last riding we did in the season was trying to fiddle around and figure out uh, how to make it handle better. The tunable skis have such a narrow sweet spot. That's what we discovered. If you put them down, you put the carbide down to get more bite, then the front end of the sled tends to hook on initial turn in. It turns in too aggressively. It oversteers, then it hooks, pulls the inside ski, then you turn out and it settles back down. If you put the carbide up so it doesn't hook, then you get into pretty profound understeer or push. There is a sweet spot and it is elusive. It's very difficult to, to find it. And more importantly, it's difficult to stay with it because trail conditions are changing even throughout the course of a day in late season. It's, it's crispy in the morning, mushy at the afternoon, and maybe crispy again in the late afternoon. So you can't just leave it alone and get really great handling. These skis here work great. These skis make the front end handle completely transparent and it works great. Skidoo is also working on uh, a variation of the bottom of the uh, tunable ski. And I assume that's for next year, I don't know for sure. But uh, I know that there is ongoing work on changing that. So keep that in mind. If you put a pair of 5.7s, on these sleds, doesn't matter if it's an XRS or whatever, put a 5.7s, so they handle fine. It doesn't do the this uh, very uh, elusive and hard fought battle to get the sweet spot. You don't have to do that. The 5.7s handle very good, neutral, just enough, a little bit of a little bit of push on initial turn in, but then they, they tr track an arc really solid and hold to the center of the corner. They work well. Okay, so Cool stuff that's on this sled everybody agrees on. Love the handlebar uh, riser, the adjustable dealio. This thing here is like in the business. That's the bomb. That is a great idea. The throttle, we're not going to talk about the throttle other than this. If you want, you can make it work like a sea doo You can turn it around. Personally, I like my sea doo the way it is, and I like my snowmobiles the way they are. Um, other than that, a uh, little concern. I mean, there's a lot of miles on this. It's bleeding. There's, there's a little bit of bleeding on this side and on the other side the disc brake rotor makes a messier left boot because it is an external disc brake rotor and it's vented right onto your boot. 
and that kind of sucks a bit but it gives you something to do on a weekend when you can't ride you can clean your sled um, other than that the uh, ice ripper track definitely you got to have ice ripper tracks Polaris interestingly enough is offering them this year it's about time and Skidoo of course has offered them for a number of years don't leave your deer without an ice ripper you got to have an ice ripper track it really makes a big difference and it's just common sense for safety this windshield is not a windshield this is I don't I'm not even sure what that is there is a nice mid-height windshield that we had for this we may have taken it off and the mid-height windshield is very effective um, it generates good wind protection and it looks decent it doesn't look as cool as this but this is literally cool actually cold this doesn't work you don't want to do this um, other than that we're pleased with with the reliability this thing has run started uh, is decent on fuel interestingly uh, it's not as it's not any more fuel efficient than an 850 an 850 will actually get a little bit better gas mileage sometimes this will other times it's I mean you got 150 horsepower horses want to eat these ones are hungry so you've got 165 in the 850 but you've got a significantly significantly lighter uh, uh, vehicle so you're going to get uh, savings and fuel economy efficiencies from that so it's not you know everybody says oh four strokes get amazing mileage it's how many horsepower they've got that consumes the gasoline that makes a difference so all, all in all this is uh, this is a, a good snowmobile it has one disparaging feature which we talked about other than that this is a really good sled and you won't be disappointed by the performance or the ride quality uh, particularly in the rear end of the sled so there you go that's the uh, skidoo the 900 ace turbo xrs renegade thanks for watching if you enjoyed that video make sure you hit the like button and then subscribe to snow tracks tv's youtube channel that's constantly being updated with fresh content